Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed them. I, I didn't. Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall! This is a raid! That's how we sit deep with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again! What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Kuya <laughs> Oh. 
Tong Hai Tuang Chichi Jung Lumpa Nita Pue Tikitu Dolpa da Bongwaleo Gandona Chuchut Kachi Chu Ita Dundonga Yuma Lita Kuta Tun Chila Mulane Nindu Bobo Wonga Kumbis Chang Ba Mulira Kun hunka bi, wana kun bez ching palamule, tungking ba nunotek, tuk nincha tu kunde, mule rabes. Ka chi kun ita haodonga, i king kuno ba mule rachi kun, slimo po donar de haodonga kunka be, tong abu sha. Wanga kumbis king balemuraya. Choni yon tun chichi ida duana. Kava volpa mulje gumana? Ui ida nan dayata. What a yuma wama huhu nandetek. Ah, shatung ni patoga. Wano kuspe ching pala mule tonke. Tak bis ju bongko koki magpanka. Ching pala chiska mule tunarana nu prata tonko si cha tuma wamama tuks kepa toma. Nishai ju lorchai kinkuno bule rajikon. Chan shak bulara umrao chiska duchi on chuban jishka yanki Titoke gratun kun chicha kun king kacha chonobra. Bogra wala no tumba cha. Nechi chuna chuba ching lorda ita kun. Wi tam boragatong mulira a shangturung ni na potata tuanga chun tize. Igrutu haga jijiwa. Wata juma wana hu wama hulhu na tek. Achuta, wonga kun bis tulpi kikuyana, tong patugas makdelia. Thank you. 
What? On it. It's open. Hmm? Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig, Holden. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Just one of Darvik's men who... I can't help you... Good. I don't much like strangers in my home. On it. It's open. I'm here. Pudu, Tony Rama, Napraka, Donko, Sercha, Chupapanki.
Kavadumpa kapaliamo na pata, bona nakachu. Yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun. Tong na bun shan yang. I'm here. It's open. Well, what, what were you walking? I just cleaned those floors. Well, all right then, no hard feeling. My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? Never thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment. Hmm. You look like an off-worlder. What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I can try and help you out. Decent enough place to live, I guess, except for the lower levels. That's where the swoop gangs hang out. Just stay in Upper City and you'll be fine. You also might want to check out the cantina. I used to go there when I was younger. A good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in Upper City. Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets near them. And from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. I should get back to work anyway. I'll probably see you around. I'm here most of the time. The building doesn't clean itself, you know. People complain about the Sith, but this quarantine is good for all the businesses on Terrace. Look at Javier's Cantina. That place has never been... Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? The planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. And things have gotten worse since the Sith occupied it. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows, and it gets worse the lower you go. Well, that's all I can think of, at any rate. I'm all ears, beautiful. Maybe I'm just avoiding your questions. Is this really necessary? It's an interrogation you wanted. Why don't you say so? All my secrets are purely of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Nothing worth extracting, though you're welcome to try. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened from your perspective. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people. What? In the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, too. I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? sense. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who is a last-minute addition to the crew roster is one of the survivors. He 
you were the only one. Not to mention that Bastila's party was the one who requested your transfer. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board, but now they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. I expect you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything. Still, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? It has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone. And I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? Good. Like I said before, I prefer action to talk anyway. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know? Oh, you're one of those off-worlders, aren't you? Come to Terrace for a short business trip and end up stuck here because of the Sith quarantine, right? Oh, you can't be too happy. Trapped on an unfamiliar world and all. But Terrace isn't so bad, as long as you stay in the upper city. Just try to avoid the Sith. And stay out of the lower city. The Swoop gangs are totally out of control. Even Davik's men are having trouble down there. Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman. If you get my drift, smuggling, slaving, extortion. Mm -hmm. They say he's a member of the Exchange, you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. Well, I've heard of the Exchange. Bad organization to cross. But if anyone has blockade breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay him a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from, you understand? I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Davix men got there first. Uh, it's not smart to say bad things about the people in power, if you get my meaning. I just wish the Sith would ease up on the quarantine. Oh, they're killing my business. I can't say I like having them here in Upper City, but it could be worse, and we're still a lot better off than the Lower City, what with those swoop gangs and all. I don't have anything good to say about those swoop gangs. Zooming around on their swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the hidden Becks were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Volker gang, <laughs> the lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Davik's own people are having problems with the Black Volkers now. Good day to you, then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. Welcome to the equipment. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are final. 
No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Don't you just love watching the Kazakh players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Body Vaughn, have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Pazak circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few hands. You don't even have your own deck? Then why are you bothering me? You can't play Pazak without your own deck. If you're serious about Pazak, Go speak to old Garouk on the other side of the tavern. His gambling days are over, and uh, he's looking to sell his deck. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits, and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. Don't get me wrong, the game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes, and lost countless more. But that was long ago, and things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. Fifty credits gets you my old Pazak deck, and a free lesson. Great offer if you can afford it. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you?
Sorry, but I'm not here looking for conversation. I just came to get a drink, listen to some music and try to relax before my next shift at the military base. I don't wear my uniform when I'm off duty. It's not allowed. In fact, anyone in uniform is banned from entering the cantina. The officers don't even like it when we show up here off duty. Don't like us fraternizing with the locals, I guess. But it gets pretty stale hanging around the base all the time. Besides, the Sith don't own me. Being a soldier in their fleet is just a job, you know. A job with long hours and low pay. When I signed up, I was promised adventure and excitement in exotic locales. Instead, I end up stationed at a military base on some backwater planet on the fringes of the galaxy. If I could just find some other way to earn some credits, I could give this lousy job up. Retire my uniform, so to speak. The senior officers don't really like it when we start answering questions, you know? They don't want us fraternizing with the locals. Just another perk of the job. No offense, but I probably shouldn't be talking to you anymore. I'm just going to say something that might get me in trouble. What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get away from me. I can't be seen talking with a common rabble. It wouldn't be proper for a man of my standard. Well, hello there. I can see from your exotic appearance that you are not from Taurus originally. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jurgen. What do you think of our local music? The band is quite good, wouldn't you agree? They're on the verge of intergalactic stardom, you know. Obviously, you have an ear for music. Mark my word, they'll be famous soon enough. They were about to go on tour before this Sith quarantine stranded them here. Would you like to meet the band after the show? Maybe have a brief brush with fame before they become intergalactic superstars? I can arrange it, you know. They have a standing arrangement with one of the Rodian bodyguards backstage. For the small sum of 20 credits, he'll let me set up a meeting with you and the band. Well, I would like to help you out, but I can't arrange the meeting for free. And I'm afraid your charms would have little effect on the Rodian bodyguards backstage. If you manage to come up with the credits, just come back and see me. I'll be more than happy to arrange for you to meet the band. Until then, please enjoy the music.
Isn't this band great? They can't leave Terrace because of the Sith quarantine, so they've been playing here every night. Talk about a good break for us. Sorry, I'm too busy to talk. I've got to get these drink orders to the customer. The Taurus isn't such a bad place. I've been stationed in worse places than this during my commission. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. That's better. Now, hurry up with our order. And here are your drinks, Miss Lavin. I apologize for the delay. Don't bother me. I don't speak to the help. I'm not here to chat. I just finished a long shift at the military base, and now I'm just looking to relax. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll! In this corner, I give you Gurlon Twofinger! And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Jedi Duncan! Nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Gerlon Twofinger. Watching Ice fight, she proves this isn't just a man's game. Gerlon used to be one of the best in the game. Now he's barely better than old Dead Eye Duncan. Wait, I know what you're going to say. It's great to see a woman in the duel ring strike a blow for equality. I'm a credit to my gender, blah, blah, blah. Just say it, okay? I'm just here to take care of business in the dueling ring. For some reason, every woman who comes in here thinks we should have some kind of female bond. Guess what? We don't. You know what? I'm not one for friendly chit-chat, so I'm just going to deliver the cold, hard facts. I don't want to waste any more time with you. Now you know why they call me Ice. If you're looking for a match, go talk to Azure. 
Here's that big hut over there in the corner. Otherwise, just go away. Hello there, Offworlder. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Marl. I'm one of the duelists here at the cantina. I was wondering when you'd get around to talking to me. No, we've never met. It's just that most people who come here to watch the duels are bored nobles, looking for a little excitement in their drab lives. But you're different. You look like you know a thing or two about combat. I'm guessing you didn't come here to sit on the sidelines and watch a duel. Are you looking for a match? If you're interested in setting up a match, or if you want to place a wager, just go speak to Adger. He's that hut over in the corner. He'll make all the arrangements. My area of expertise is pretty much limited to the dueling ring and the other combatants here at the cantina. But I'll try to answer any questions you might have. Only what I heard from the news reports, which are all censored by the Sith. Some pods crashed into the Undercity. Anyone caught harboring survivors will be arrested and executed. Really, I, I don't think it's any of my business. The Sith want to call themselves rulers of Terrace? It's fine by me, just so long as they don't shut the duel ring down. I can only tell you what is recorded in the basic visitor guides. The Upper City is a beautiful destination where intergalactic travelers can find all their basic needs. If you're looking for excitement, the duel rings here are your best bet. Stay out of the Lower City. It's nothing but a gang-ridden slum. Is there anything else you want to know? You've come to the right man. I've been dueling here for nearly 20 years, and I remember every duelist who's been through this cantina. Of course, there are only five of us left now. Duncan, Gurlon, Ice, Twitch, and me. Bendak Starkiller comes in once in a while. He's retired now. Me? Well, I've seen my share of battles. My best years are gone. But I can still hold my own against anyone in here. Except maybe Twitch. Twitch? I think that Rodian is completely crazy. But he's very, very good despite his insanity. Or maybe because of it. Even I can't beat him. What can I say? Bendak was a legend. Never lost a match his entire career. But he was bloodthirsty as an Iridorian battle rager. Never liked having to face the same opponent twice. Got so he wouldn't battle anyone unless it was a death match. When they made death matches illegal, he went into retirement. He still hangs around here sometimes. Bendak's the best there ever was, plain and simple. Even now, I'd bet that anyone who steps into the ring with him wouldn't make it out alive. Ice? Eh, she's not much for personality, but she's a hell of a fighter. Confident, steady, popular with the crowd, too. If you go up against her, you know you're in for a tough match. Duncan? Worst duelist ever. His nickname is Deadeye because he fights like he's blind. I wouldn't worry about him. Gurlon used to be pretty good before the accident. His blaster overheated during a match and exploded. One in a million occurrence. Paralyzed three fingers on his right hand. They call him Gurlon Two Fingers now. He hasn't been the same since the accident. But he's still out here trying to earn a living. That's why I never fight with blasters. Goodbye, stranger. Maybe we'll talk again later. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to step into the duel ring? Or did you just come to watch? I don't have time to answer your questions. I need to stay focused for my next match. Maybe Azure can help you out. He's the hut over there in the corner. He arranges all the duels. What are you looking at, fresh meat? You want a piece of me? You want to step in the dueling chambers with me? I'm Deadeye Duncan, the number five ranked duelist in this cantina. You must have seen me in the dueling chambers, right? Five. But it's an elite group, okay? It's not like just anyone can step into the dueling chamber. Well, actually, anyone can. But not many do. Yeah, that's right. Back off. You know better than the challenge, Deadeye Duncan. I will mess you up.
Kuchang Yoturum Chiwepa Ola Una Chinneka Vamulera Kun Biskin Nilhun Kagratuk Ajur Ha 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 Chimut Malia Bistwet Wata Chichek Nau Tum Chong Yoma Bola Yuman Chupai Yobong Labokraturum Arti Chimai Kuleran yun cuba. Kala tumpa kulpi yaya mo kapata. Jiska ni Chuk. Inkin ko no ba mule. Raji kum. Mog na wong siya nun yang. Kala wulpa mulje. Kumana kong abuk siya umenong. Kala wulpa mulje. Kumana bak mule ra. Chuni yun tun jiji ay tatwana. Kawawur pamur jwe. Kumana. Fibro blades and blasters? And nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Chiyo kakon mule ra. Kim kun jwa pe shak. No pa mule ra ji. Chuni yun toran ji ay tatia. Pulau Nacinek, baru leras lima orang aku bising. Awan awat ayut tahu apa? Tangki doa nai mejus kucis kanayo. Tontonaya fulke dokola jiji. Wajah niciu tombatoras matilia, hehe, asuta, bunga pun bisul piti kuliana. Kala tumpa kul piliya muka bapa, jiska niciu, ingin kuno bamuli rajikum. Tog na wong siya nun yang Kawawul pa mulje Kumana kipuna Kona na kajo Kimba muli ratwana Kawupa bote niya go jojo piti Kawadung pa kulpa iya mo kata Wanga kumbis Kimba muli ra Kaging siya na kokma kon Kawadung pa kulpa iya bote niya this is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across our crew manifest back on the end of the spot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Jedi Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Terrace dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger.
Thank you. 